Hello, everyone. I'm Rebecca Pop. I'm the founder of Vislog, a data visualization and storytelling lab that offers workshops, um, whether those are public or private, um, and in some cases, consulting services to companies, organizations, institutions looking to improve their data visualization and data storytelling. In a very short session, within the next few minutes, I'm going to walk you through a graph created in Excel that's cluttered, it's full of redundancies, and I will show you step by step how you can improve it, how you can declutter it, and how you can remove those redundancies. Let's get started. I am going to share my screen. And this is the graph that we are talking about. Here we have data on speed skating medal count from the Winter Olympics from 1924 all the way to 2022. That's a lot of years. Um, hopefully a very timely topic as well. Um, I've been watching the Winter Olympics. Maybe you have as well. Uh, what we can see here right away is that the Netherlands has by far the largest number of medals. In the graph next to the data set, um, you have um, the rank of countries in a simple bar chart that was created using the typical Excel templates, literally just um, clicking on insert and on the charts here. I haven't really touched the, the templates that Excel defaulted to. So, in this session, I will show you step by step how you can apply some best visualize best data visualization practices um, and improve the graph. The requirements are specified here in the second tab. Um, it says using the bar chart on speed skating, which I just showed you, follow the steps that your instructor presented. Um, this this also goes hand in hand with the prior lecture that I, I gave recently. Um, to apply data visualization best practices. And the steps are eight and are as follows. Remove grid lines, omit the x-axis if the data points are already labeled. Place the labels at the end of the bars, within the bars, I should say also. Adjust the gap between bars, narrow it. Use color strategically to highlight a key insight Add an insightful headline, add an icon or an image related to speed skating, and finally remove the chart order. Let's get started. I'll go to my graph here and I will literally follow each step. Number one, remove grid lines. The grid lines are these vertical lines that you see here. They are not very helpful. They are not helpful at all, I should say, in this case. On the country, they are distracting um, and taking away valuable attention that could be dedicated to understanding the data and the results. So what I'll do, I will click on the grid lines and hit delete. Done. The graph of Asana is more clearer. Second requirement, omit the x-axis. As you can see, we have an axis and on top of that, we have the labels for each country. That's unnecessary because it is redundant. We are communicating the same information twice. So what I'm going to do, I will click on the axis and just hit the delete button. All right, requirement number three, place the labels at the end of the bars that is within the bars. What I'm going to do is click on the labels, click right, click on format data labels and select Label position inside and because we have um, a darker color on a lighter color, I might want to change the color of the labels, but we'll wait till we select the color of the graph to make that final choice. The reason why I place the labels at the end of the bar, and you can also place them at the beginning of the bar, is because in that case, your audience will read the bar and the labels at the same time, just hovering over um, or looking at the graph once. Number four, adjust the gap between bars. The gap currently is very large. You have more white space than the actual width of the bars. 
which takes away attention from the bars, which actually encodes the data and puts too much emphasis on the white space. You don't want the white space to be distracting. You want the white space to just help um, the visual have some, some breathing room. So what I'm going to do, I clicked right. Uh, I clicked on format data series. I went to series options. And right now you see the gap width is at 193%. Let's reduce it to 55%. All of a sudden, the gap has narrowed and the graph is more readable. All right, requirement number five, use color strategically to highlight a key insight. Let's go back to the graph. All right, what's the key insight here? Well, to me, at least, what stands out the most is the fact that the Netherlands is way, way ahead of any other country when it comes to the count of medals at speed skating. Uh, the Netherlands has 105 medals, and the next in line, Norway, is way, way under at 81 medals. So I think that the Netherlands is worth highlighting. What I'm going to do to use the, the color strategically, but also in a meaningful way, I'm going to change the color um, of all other bars, except for the Netherlands. I'm going to make it more, a more neutral color and then use um, a different color to emphasize on the Netherlands. So first I'm going to select all bars. I'm going to go to color and I'm going to pick a gray. Let's go for this slightly lighter gray. Now, what should we do with the Netherlands? How can we make the color meaningful? Well, here's what I thought. I thought I would go and check the flag of the Netherlands and try to replicate that color. So let me show you what I did. I will share a different screen. All right, so I use a tool called Image Color Picker. And what I did, I took a screenshot or I copied the image of the flag of the Netherlands. And then here um, you have details on the actual color. So you have the RGB or the hex. If I hover over blue, you see it for blue. If I hover over red, you see it for red. And then we have white in the middle. So I'm going to copy the exact color code on my graph. And I'm going to use a gradient. I start off with the dark red. I'll copy the hex color. And I will go back to my Excel in a second. There you go. I will click on the Netherlands, format data point, And I will click here on the fill and line. And then fill. Gradient fill. I will make sure the direction goes from left to right. And I already inputted the colors, but you see you have red here. It's the exact color as in the Netherlands flag, white in the middle, and blue at the end. So I will change the color of the, of the label as well, since it's not as readable anymore. And there you go. You have the flag of the, of the Netherlands. Um, actually um, on the bar that shows um, the number of medals that the Netherlands got. All right, going back, number six, add an insightful headline. So right now the headline is very descriptive. It only tells you that the speed skating medal count between 19 and 1924 and 2022 was what you see below in the graph. Uh, that's not an insight per se. It's just telling us what data we are looking at. So what I'm going to do, I list that as a sub headline, make it smaller also. And then above it, I will say the Netherlands. Is in the lead or I would say maybe is the leader at speed skating. Then I will move this 
here. And I will make sure that let's make this a little larger. Maybe a slightly darker color also. And maybe we can even have fun, why not, and color it. So we can use the same colors. Let me see the colors. So we have red. And then, well, we don't want to use white. So I'll leave that maybe a lighter gray. And then we will use the blue, which comes from the Netherlands flag. And I copied the exact hex code. All right, looks fun. And now the final or second from final requirement, add an icon or an image. So what, what I did, I went to denom.com where you can find a ton of icons. And I copied this icon that shows a person speed skating. So I'm going to copy the icon over here. Oops. Somewhere here, I'm going to move the headline to the side. Maybe make it even a bit larger and move the headline a bit more to the side. All right, and then the final requirement, remove the chart border. Well, I will click on the chart, click right, format chart area, and I will say no border. And I will also remove the white background just because I would like the background to blend in with my background on the entire tab. So I will just remove the field as well. And there you go. This is the final graph. Um, after some changes, small changes, I should say that we made in Excel. It took me a few minutes, not more than that, um, including explaining my step, my uh, my steps. But overall, the impact is quite powerful. I hope you enjoyed today's session and enjoy practicing data visualization. Um, it's fun and there's always a lot to learn when it comes to data visualization. Take care.